Hey, come on in. So this is the new uh, Mutant Mayhem Leatherhead. I just like the shape of it, and I thought I could use a lot of this for the Rat Man that I wanted to create. Uh, heat with the heat gun is a miracle worker as far as getting parts off. Uh, that hat was very well attached. And then I'm just cutting all the nubs off the tail. And I will, I'll dremel that down later to sand it and smooth it to make it more of a rat tail. But I like the body shape and the tail. And, you know, if the body shape is good, then you can change the paint, the texture, and all that. So just going into it. Uh, here I'm dremeling. There's a little bit of an alligator scale texture on it. I'm just dremeling that off with a, uh, like a grinder bit. It's like an egghead grinder shape. And uh, he had a vest on, and he has a lot of little accessories, which are great. And so I have a, a rat head that I purchased, um, and I'm going to attach it to kind of his face. So I'm cutting his face off here, and that'll leave his movable neck stump. So I still have a movable head, but I want that head to come straight off of there and not like up on a post. So. I'm using the uh, the Dremel grinder again to smooth that out and make it nice and flat. So I'm, I'm kind of going around now and I'm adding like a, a groove in each each kind of area while well, I'm I'm uh, beveling that head so it fits the the rat a little bit more. Now I've got to flatten down the rat head itself so that it matches up nice and flat. Always think about body shape and silhouette, and those are kind of important. And he's a he, he he's a garbage. See, I'm going around the edge with like making it like scalloped. That's going to help me simulate fur later when I do the clay over top. Uh, clean up my area. Just soften that a little bit so I can get the hands off. I know I want different hands. I buy a lot of hands. I buy a lot of heads. Um, I'm just getting into resin 3D printing, so I'll be printing more of my own. But I've also subscribed to a few Patreons where I, I can uh, get access to things. And I have these Beast Man feet, which are... I think those are from Mendoza Customs. I'm not sure. And I had to trim his feet in order to glue down into there, but it's not perfect. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of the epoxy putty, uh, the steel stick five minute epoxy putty. Mix up a little bit of that, and I should be able to go around the feet. Oh, I'm doing the head first. Okay. So I super glue the head on, and now I go around with the epoxy putty and use my sculpting tool to put in a fur texture. I want him mangy, so, you know, big spiky fur. See me actually forming the spikes there. Been doing a lot of painting this weekend. You can kind of only work one area at a time. But the epoxy putty does dry and well, it cures hard in five minutes, so that's really good. So it's fast. See, I'm doing the upper arms. I'm going to leave the uh, the lower arms uh, fleshy, but I want fur on those upper arms. So again, just a little bit of the uh, epoxy putty. Uh, it's very sticky as it is, and then as it cures, you can put in some fur texture. Now I'm filling those gaps around the feet. Just look weird. So I'm making uh, the bottom of his legs that are sticking out of his pants and the tops of the feet hairier, hairier, furrier. I'm adding fur to them. I'm making it more furry. I think that's right. And again, sculpting tool, getting in there and just giving it those little bit of fur details. 
It always looks so weird when these when they're all these different colors. But that's something you have to just get your eye used to and to get your eye used to seeing around it. Uh, so I'm getting some paints out, and I, I don't have a, a a huge color scheme in mind for a rad guy garbage man. What he's wearing is really nice. Uh, I think I want to make a hood though to cover up that neck joint a little bit and help with the tops of the shoulders. So I didn't sand any on the tops of the shoulders to prevent rubs. So There's going to be some rub. But it really starts coming together once you get that black paint on it and it looks like it's all one thing now. That's, uh, that's always a good feeling. And I'll tell you what, it is hard to paint on camera, like almost no matter what. It's very difficult for me to hold this under the camera and be able to see it in order to paint it. Uh, so that, that kind of gets worse the more the detail is. So yeah, what, like I said, his tail and his lower arms and a little bit of his muzzle and his feet are going to have uh, the fleshy tones. I want him to be a real almost peach colored in those areas. And then I want like a mangy gray fur for him. So this is a character that fits in with my Motu figures. Um, it's not, there's, there's no Motu part on this guy, aside from the feet, which are custom feet um, that, are, that were not made by Mattel. So this guy, he's, he's just kind of uh, riding the coattails. But I don't think that the Master of the Universe buck shape is good for a rat person. So... Um, and this is a little bit of uh, like Wonderflex, like uh, heat plastic. And I use that a lot for cloth. So I heat it up and I cut the shape of it and I heated it up and uh, painting that purple. And in my brain, like that's a, you know, maybe in a fight, Skeletor had a cape ripped and that scrap of fabric was thrown away. And uh, Dross the Rat Man kept it, made a hood out of it or something. So that was a uh, antique that I put on there. And that antique just kind of dirtied him up a little bit. And then I was able to put on that purple. So he's got that nice bright purple and everything else is kind of dingy. Uh, I want to go in. I want to give him red eyes. He works in the dark. He works in the tunnels of Snake Mountain. So I want him to have red eyes. And then I have a trick for how to, you know, if you booger your, like I boogered it a little bit right there. I got the red on the eyelid. And something I do all the time is I'll take a, a fine Sharpie or a regular Sharpie. And I will uh, just reline the eye. Put a little bit of red inside the ear there. Give that a little bit of life. But what a, what a simple character. But he has a lot of character to him. Uh, and a lot of it is that body pose in that Leatherhead figure uh, from the Mutant Mayhem. He, uh, he just works as far as that goes. So he has a very different silhouette uh, from the other characters, and that's one, something that I use to make things stand out. He is... Uh... Oh, here's my, my Sharpie. I'm using a bigger Sharpie this time because I want to get that whole eye bed. But look at how that just pops the eye with that dark under it. Now he looks like he's uh, uh, pretty rough. Let's take him over to the turntable. Let's let him be fabulous. You got a glimpse of my Crocs right there. All right. So here is Dross the Rat Man, who helps pick up garbage at Snake Mountain. Remember, it's your world, and you have the power to make whatever you want. Please subscribe.